there's there is a, another piece of research that indicates that to the nearest percentage point so rounding up or down by one percent zero percent of the adult population can survive healthily on less than six hours a night so anyone that suggests they can statistically they're almost certainly wrong i tend to think this is a bit like height human heights you get some you know the range of normal you know somebody can grow to five foot two somebody else might get to six foot six um, but you're not going to get somebody growing to nine foot one and you're not going to get somebody growing to three foot four. That's not within the range of normal. Mm. So someone who says I can get by on less than six hours sleep, if that is true, it's outside the range of normal. Um, yeah. It's an aberration in short. Uh, and, yeah. and, and, and the same with the reverse, someone needing more than nine. Uh, it may be there's a sleep disorder in there somewhere or there may just be something slightly mm. different them. But so all intents and purposes, anyone saying I can get by on less than six, well, you can get by, but it's coming at a yes. cost. It's coming at a cost to your health. It's coming at a cost to how you function. Um, and maybe you've just got used to it. I think it's there's, there's a grain of truth that some people sleep more easily than others. Uh, that is true. Um, but there's more than a grain of truth that the habits that we adopt um, in the day and our general approach to life, and in particular, how we behave in the evenings, if we were to put a time on it after eight o'clock in the evening, have a fundamental impact on how well we will go on to mm. sleep, along with other environmental factors. And there's a lot of those out there. Uh, how comfortable our bedroom is, you know, is it dark? Uh, we actually need far more dark than we, we realized. It, it needs to be dark. Um, even, even a neon light alarm clock interferes on some level um, mm. with the quality of our sleep so dark means dark um, and we are relatively so dark deprived now <laughs> we live in a very light society um, and even whether we have partners who snore or someone else who goes to bed <laughs> at three in the morning or you know those yeah. things can keep you awake as well so there's other, there's other things out there but a lot of it is about our habits and about what we do that either helps or hinders our ability to sleep.